Hey guys, this is Amjavid with another tutorial about purchasing and recording a fixed asset in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, when your business starts growing, you find yourself in a position to buy assets that can provide benefits to your business for many years. And in accountancy field, such assets are called fixed assets. And it may include building, computers, furniture, land, machinery, vehicles, etc. Anyhow, here you can see neither I have added any fixed asset item in the fixed assets item list nor I have created any related accounts in the chart of accounts so far even though we have a default fixed asset account named furniture and equipment which we sure can use but for this example I will create new ones at the time of purchasing the asset well to purchase something either you create a purchase order to pay your vendors or you write a check right away the basic difference of creating purchase order and writing a check is that you follow the workflow to pay your vendors when you create a purchase order, whereas when you write a check to pay your vendors, it affects your bank account right away. Anyhow, in this example, I'm going to write a check to purchase a laptop, so select write checks under the bank menu. Here select your bank account by clicking on the bank account field, then change the date and select a vendor and if you don't find one just click on add new and create one or just write the name of your vendor and then click away it will open a small pop-up window and if you have the full info of your vendor just click on setup and create your vendors profile properly or just click on quick add to create your vendors profile with as minimum info as possible then select the items tab and click on the item field it will show you the list of all your items but since we are going to purchase a fixed asset just click on add new and select fixed asset in the type field now write the name of your asset in the asset name field and if the name of your asset is too long then use abbreviation since I'm going to buy a laptop I'm going to write the full name then write the purchase description and change the date you purchase the asset on and enter the cost of the asset and add your preferred vendor if you want now here in the asset account field we can create the related accounts that will appear in the chart of accounts and to track the asset properly we need to create three fixed assets accounts so click on the drop down and select add new here make sure that you have selected fixed asset in the account type field and then fill the concern fields and click on save and close now our main asset account has been created and we need to create two more accounts to track it properly so click on add new and create a cost account and make it a sub account of the asset you want to track which is a laptop in my case and then fill the other fields if you want or just click on save and close and here you can see that our main and one sub account has been created and we need to create one more account to record its depreciation Anyhow, click on add new and create the accumulated depreciation account and make it a sub account of your main fixed asset account which is a laptop in my case. Well in simple, depreciation is the used up value of the asset that we allocate to it over its useful life. And different methods are used to calculate the depreciation value like straight line, declining, double declining etc. We will talk about the most common ones in the future tutorial and fill the remaining fields if you want or just click on save and close here you can see that the concerned accounts have been created and now we can track the asset quite conveniently then fill the remaining fields if you want or just click on ok here quickbox is just giving me the grammatical errors it has found i'm just clicking on ignore all now our fixed asset item and the related accounts have been created and it's also filled the purchased amount which we provided here and if you have paid some significant delivery or other costs to buy the asset you can add that in the expense tab and then write some memo if you want or just click on save and close now we have just recorded a fixed asset into our box now let's go to the fixed assets item list to see if a fixed asset item has been created or not and here you can see that it's been created here now let's go to the chart of accounts to see whether the related accounts have been created or not and here you can see that they have been created with the purchased value of the fixed asset we provided 
And as I mentioned earlier, that if you buy something by writing a check, the concerned bank account will affect right away. And here you can see that the bank account amount has been reduced accordingly. Anyhow, it's just a matter of preference whether you set up the accounts and items list before recording the purchase or not. In my example, I have created them while writing a check. Whatever the way you feel comfortable with, just go for that and record the purchase in your books. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.